Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, channel and how I beat diabetes type 2 in 3 months. Now I'm going to start with a disclaimer, I'm not a medical doctor. I have no medical experience in that than my own journey. So I am not telling you not to take your medication from your doctor or not to go to your doctor at all. I think the doctor is the best place to go to once you're diagnosed. And it's your choice what you want to do from there. So I'm just letting you know about my journey. Now, how I reverse diabetes type 2 in 3 months. Um, what happened to me, so I'll let you know how I, how I knew. I basically was getting symptoms. Um, I just weren't feeling very good. I was feeling very unwell. It, start, it started off with having to go to the toilet quite frequently um, and I also felt like I could not empty my bladder properly then I started to get a pain at my side some days later so this was some days after so this was about over a few days nearly a week of experience this to be honest and I didn't go to the doctor I thought maybe I had IBS because the symptoms to me resembled that. So I bought Bascopan, I bought Windies, you know, but I just felt worse. And in the end, I spent about a week in bed. I just felt really bad, couldn't hardly eat. I felt really sleepy, just really tired, you know, just so lethargic. Anyway, I decided just over a week later to go to the doctors, get the blood test and they came back that I had diabetes type 2. I was really upset, um, frustrated, angry, because I felt, you know, I exercise a lot, at least three to four times a week. I don't have sugar in my tea. I'm not, I don't eat bad like cakes, chocolate, so I just couldn't understand it. Then I just thought, okay, once the doctor told me this, I just felt like I was just thrown under a bus because I'm not saying all doctors do this, but my doctor, I just felt, oh, they said, I'll watch your diet and here's metformin tablets and it was, that was it. But I knew that I was not going to take the tablets. I did not because I don't really trust in the whole medical thing. I'm not telling anyone else not to. But for myself, I just felt that tablets only sort of block symptoms they don't really cure and things can get worse and that was just my feeling on the whole subject so i started to try and do some research thing about i couldn't find anything i went on to head youtube and doctors would say oh you, you cannot reverse diabetes after you know a number of years so i thought well that weren't useful but there is a lot of useful information on the foods you can eat so at first, before I was researching this, I thought, okay, I have to eat properly. Let me go and buy fruit like melons, like mangoes, just, you know, to help me. But I then next minute, when you do your research, you realize you can't eat those foods. You, re you realize about a glycemic level that you can't pass that's um, like over 50. And these, these fruits that you're eating all the time is over that. So I was stuck. I thought well what do I eat for breakfast lunch and dinner what do I eat and I didn't know what to do so it was a sense of um frustration disappointment sad just stuck to be honest really stuck then as a miracle over after about maybe of a week or so because I was just eating like maybe we eat a bit for for breakfast or oats just didn't know what to do my do my daughter you know sort of said mum there's a book you should read and it's called how to reverse diabetes type 2 by professor roy taylor i thought okay here's something so i bought that book on amazon audio and i really listened intently to it and he explains about what diabetes type 2 is it's explains about the um, liver, the fatty liver tissue, it's not about the size you are um, or how 
your weight because you could be obese and still don't have diabetes type 2 and he explained about the pancreas so I learned now what um, insulin resistant was because when the doctor said oh you're insulin resistant well what is insulin resistant so you realize that your pancreas is not working it's literally like shut off and then I studied more I learned about diabetes type 1 diabetes type 2 and how they really what the history of it all but anyway I jump right back to Roy Taylor fantastic book he even when he explains case studies to you and people who went on it, some people who succeeded, some people who didn't, the reason why they did not succeed. And he, and he talks about giving support, you know, family giving support. I thought, oh, okay, I could do this. That was my thought. But he talks about what you can eat, the type of food you can eat, the diet, so the 800 diet and now I knew what was for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I knew what to eat. And I thought, what have I got to lose? Try this. So what he explained to go for is um, meal replacements. Now, before I jump there, one thing that I bought straight away was Viva Check. So Viva Check comes in the packet and I had to I always was pricking my finger the good thing with YouTube it sort of shows you they show you how to prick your finger with this and it comes in a really nice case now I am not selling you Viva Check you know you can order extra packets of what you use to prick your finger with and the strips to do your blood and I needed to know the level I was at so I found this really, really useful. It really helped me. So, with that, I looked at what he said to eat. Now, he spoke about Exante. Now, I did research a lot of meal replacements. And what I found with meal replacements are that they're not only very expensive, but you have to think about the amount of meals you're having per day. Now, if you're having three a day, for breakfast, lunch and dinner, that's quite a lot. Some only come with enough for maybe five days. That means you're spending so much money. Also, you have to read the label. Some of them have aspartame. You don't want nothing with aspartame in it. So you think, okay, what can I buy that is, although expensive, it can last me. It's still kind of affordable. It makes sense. And I went for one of his recommendations because I researched so much and it's Exante. Now Exante does this. Now I'm not sending you nothing to do with anything. I'm just telling you what I used. But Exante comes with, this is 27 vitamins and minerals. So you need things with vitamins and minerals because you still got to replace that what you're not eating. And, uh, and it's high in protein and look, 200 calories. So you want to go on 800 calories for the day. And remember, this will total to 600. So this flavor is vanilla. They also do it in like chocolate flavor, these big pack bags. And they do banana flavor and strawberry. So I started off buying that because one packet lasts you like for a whole week. It's like, it's, you've got a big scoop in it and you use that as a measuring. But then they also sell these, different flavors, smaller packets. Cookies and cream. This one is toffee caramel. This one is um, chocolate latte. And um, this one is caramel latte. You have so much flavors. And they do a lot of deals. And that, sort of made me feel like okay I've got more choices here then he tells you you should have non-carb veg for after your last shake you have non-carb veg and I thought okay but the good thing about him also he lists the veg so you can just have a pen and paper and write down all the vegetables that you can eat so then you're out shopping and you just find creative ways of cooking these vegetables and you just not put things together but I have I still have to admit it's not easy 
he does tell you that it takes at least 36 hours to get used to eating this way and you can feel the hunger pangs and I tell you, you have to distract yourself. You have to focus, you have to be dedicated and you do need support. I mean, at the time I was doing this diet, I would, people be having barbecues and with friends, you know, family, I'd be going out with them and they'd be eating the chicken, the jerk chicken, you know, and you're just mouth watering and you're just thinking, I'm going to die. And when I reach home, I want something to eat. And so you have to stop all these old habits. Like I was like a prolific snacker. I always like, you know, if I come in and I'm hungry and I'm going to cook a bit, okay, let me have a cup of tea and a couple of biscuits, okay, let me have maybe a bag of crisps. So that was my problem. Cocktails and snacking, and I had to stop all that. And you do need support, and it is hard. I thought, yeah, it's going to be a breeze. It's not a breeze. It is hard work. But for me, this was the choice. Take the medication and sweep everything under the carpet because you know people who take the medication then the medication gets higher and higher and diabetes is one of the most awful diseases because it's from your head to your toe so the thing about with diabetes you know that over time you can go blind over time you can have a stroke you can have a heart attack you can get your foot amputated it's not an easy disease to deal with it's a very serious one and um I just knew that I did not want to go through that those kind of illness I wanted to live I want to see my grandchildren grow be with my children my family I wanted to enjoy life so I had to think about it very strongly it's either I lose the weight and try this and reverse it or I take the medication. I have to have understanding of food or I don't. So we know that food, as much as it can be enjoyable and healthy, it can be your medicine, it also can be your poison. And this is something you have to think about when you're doing it. And as much as it's hard, it's something to go on to. Anyway, I wrote a few notes down because I didn't want to bore you with anything that I was going through. Anyway, next book that I wrote, I, I got, was a next book by Dr. Mosley, and it's called The 800. His book is really good. It's, yeah, um, Dr. Mosley now, he speaks, yeah, Dr. Michael Mosley, he talks about the fast 800. Now you can also get that on um, Amazon. With his book now, he talks about, he actually has a d different meals you can have. There's a different, lot of different diets, like there's a 5-2 diet, there's um, things you do called the 12-12 or the 8-16. So what all these numbers mean is like you do intermittent fasting. So I may decide that I eat nothing until midday and I don't, and I eat up, I can eat up to 8 o'clock in the evening, then don't eat again until midday, that is 16 hours of, um, so you've got 8 hours to eat, and 16 hours of not eating, no doubt, that 16 hours does consist of you sleeping as well, and um, I found that really helpful, because it, re intermittent fasting is very healthy, because it helps renew your cells, helps you to lose weight as well, I mean, I done both, you know, I was doing the 800 and intermittent fasting, so I was doing the both of them. But you don't have to, but you may get bored of this food. I remember having such a meltdown. I, I was nearly crying saying to my daughter, like, after nearly a month, like, I can't do this anymore. I, I can't continue just eating veg on top of veg. What do I do? And she's like, oh, mum, you know, you can make vegetable soup. You can, um, you know, sort of like, fry your, your mushrooms and have it with your salad which was really good and you also learn about the oil you've got to buy proper olive oil spend your money you've got to change up everything about how you eat but it's good and 
also exercising now what i would do now i wouldn't do anything too energetic i've done a lot more like um pilates yoga a lot of stretching nothing that's too strenuous because you don't want to get hungry so i kind of because you can't be really hungry then drink a shake you'll die literally you you just feel like i'm starving regardless so you have to think about it but i'll be honest once you get into it like at least a month into it you find that you don't even feel so hungry you literally will go for 16 hours like nothing and what i like before this whole diabetes and diet if i was going to exercise i think oh god now i've got to eat something first and then maybe an hour after i've eaten i've got to work out no that's all changed i literally would work out do an exercise during the intermittent fasting i would not even bother i didn't care and I still don't, I don't feel so hungry anymore, your stomach does shrink, and you might be thinking, what is she talking about, but the books help you, so when you got the book by um, Michael Mosley, 800, he explains intermittent fasting brilliantly, he explains it all, Dr. Roy Taylor, I started off with that book, it's really good, but a lot of people really can't do the shakes, you might be lactose intolerant you might feel oh, i don't feel like i can do these shakes all the time so the book 800 book by dr michael mosley is really good as well because a lot of stars also has done the diet from with him and you'll find that he also has recipes and a way to help you to eat but the fact is i agree with um roy taylor is that no one wants to drag their feet with losing weight because we'll just drop off that bandwagon. You just think, you know what, I'm done. I want to eat what I want to eat. That's why he does it fast diets. Now, some people I think don't do a fast diet. It's the best thing ever to do it fast because you just want to get through it and you get used to it. And I am pleased now that when I took my blood test the other day, the doctor was really surprised that I'd done it so quickly. He's like, said, look, give yourself a pat on the back. You drop down so far. It's unbelievable. What you have to know with this at the same time, although you reverse it, you have to be very careful still with how you eat. Your scales have to be your friend. You have to mind putting on too much weight again, because if you see yourself put on at least five to six pounds, at least you will have the knowledge of how to lose it again. But I know that I cannot ever get any bigger. I lost two and a half stones. I'm very happy. I love the size I am. I'm down to like a size 12. Where I, before I was, I think between like a 14 to 16. Now I'm down, that's UK style, down to like UK size. I'm down to size 12 and I love it. I like where I'm at. Some people might say, yeah, your yeah, family members like, don't lose no more weight, stay where you are, or you can eat just a bit of this or that. Don't listen to anyone. It's your health. You know, people might try to discourage you and say, oh, you know, you can have put on a bit more weight or you can eat one or two potatoes or you can eat. It's up to you because, you know, Roy Taylor, do you say at the end, you can start that. But for me, for myself, I just really don't want to eat fries and you know no carbs like that i tell you what i do love i love a love of popcorn but you've got the metcalf popcorn that is really like 84 calories or something and you can have a scoop of ice cream i find that it doesn't do anything i can weigh myself and i don't put on anything but i don't have that regularly what i drink now i drink gin and tonic i used to think oh to gin and tonic but there's pink gin, there's some different gins now. I love gin and tonic now, and it doesn't put any weight on you. Um, and I stick still with my red wine, but cocktails out the window. So I've changed the way I eat. I feel my fear, what is my fear? Is that I don't want to go back to putting on the weight or eating different, get pulled in or encouraged to. I mean, like Christmas is coming up and what I usually do is buy those box of just chocolates in, in the tin and I like to, I don't, 
eat them all the time but I usually have, like to do is like this year not happening not buying them at all not going to give no temptation um and you can buy natural nuts like cashew nuts but whilst you're going through the um diet you can't eat even even though fruits are good like the blueberries everything that ends in berries blueberries blackberries strawberry raspberries they are fantastic now we have them like with um some natural yogurt and a bit of oats i i do that now but during the diet you're not supposed to even have them and no alcohol you have to be really strict with yourself but it will be over quickly not after i say to you about a week or two you will just fall right into it you just need to stay strong now what i will say to you in the description i will leave my um instagram so if you want you can send me any messages on the comments i can answer i will give support you can message me on my instagram as well and i will give you support there also please comment subscribe share please share let's help other people with this even if you have not got diabetes if you know someone else who has or someone i know someone share I really felt the need to do this as I said I was stuck and I really looked for support and help with this and I found it very difficult so please share just looking to see if I have anything else that I've written down that I felt I wanted to tell you um, no I think all I would say to you um, is good luck with this journey it is a wonderful journey and as I said before, anything you want to ask, just ask me. I am always open to answer you and I wish you the best. And I'm so happy that I shared my journey with you and please share yours with me. Yes. So all the best.